Bridger, algo así, ¿verdad? No, no, no sé. Welcome. Hello, hello. Carlos Churro Churro. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay, you? I'm okay, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Uh, necesito pedirle permiso. Hoy no voy a participar mucho. Oiga, no me siento muy bien porque me pusieron la cuarta vacuna del oh. para el COVID. Entonces me siento toda chico pelada, huevada y todo lo demás. Oiga, okay. solo voy a escuchar. Okay. Le voy a dar permiso a toda la otra gente que participe. No, hay que, hay que preguntarle más a Leli. Ay, eh, para, no, que, para que no se duerma, hay que preguntarle más. <ríe> okay. Oiga. Well, uh, I hope you can feel better, right? So, um, thank you so much for, for being here, guys. Everybody. Faltan bastantes. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope they can join us, right? Esperamos que se unan. Okay. Poquititos. Y hoy vimos a Carla, que estaba de inglés corporativo, que nos está monitoreando. Ay, escuchando el chambrerío de haber estado. <laughs> Es la, la novela de César. Hey, no me no sea así. Yo le estaba contando porque aquí confianza, aquí entre familia. Sí, entre 25 personas y nada más. Ah, pues sí. Ok, bueno, well, let's start, guys. Eh, I'm going to pass the tenas. Please help me out with your, you know, your present. Don Marco, you welcome. <laughs> Alba. Here, Aleli. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ana y Nora. Ana Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Ana Stephanie. Present. Brian, Brian is here. Cesar. Present, teacher. You, Elvis. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emerson. Here. Gabriela. Present teacher. Here is on. Linda. Present teacher. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Here. Jose. Present. Here, Josue. I'm feeling good. Thank you. Karen. Kenya. Lisbeth. Present. Marco. Present. Nancy. Present, teacher. Oscar. Present. Ovidio. Present, teacher. Raquel. Sandra. Sandra. Sonia. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Present. How are you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, Jenny. Very good. Let's just start with the class. Everybody, I can see Kenya. Kenya is joining the session. Hello, Kenya. There you go, Kenya. Good evening. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Kenya, hello, hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Kenya? I'm fine. You? Excellent. Well, I'm well. Thank you. All right. Let's start, guys. I think we're complete. Okay, somos completos. Alguien que se haya unido ahorita. Alguien que se haya unido ahorita. Además de Kenya. Creo que solamente ella. Solo ella le caso a ver. Okay, Gabriela, creo que sí. Gabriela, oh, Gabriela is in the list. Thank you. Gabriela is in the list, yeah. Sí, thank you. Bueno, si me ayudan ahí, ¿verdad? Si ven a alguien más, revisa. Bueno, soy acá revisando yo. Ok, let's start. 
Eh, how was your day, guys? I mean, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? How was your day? How was your day? Was it good? Busy? Yeah. Yeah. I was well, fine. Fine, okay. It was fine, okay. Okay, I hope you had an amazing day, right? Today. Well, let's continue. Quisiera saber si hay cómo vamos en la plataforma, Martín. Ningún problema hasta el momento. No tenemos alguna pregunta, algún comentario, etc. Eh, yo todavía no he llegado, digamos, ya al celo 1 y 2, pero ese mañana lo me pongo el día porque no he podido discutir. Excelente. ¿Sí? Bueno, eh, quiero para hacer énfasis en, en lo siguiente, con la plataforma, ¿verdad? específicamente. Y. Eh, Esa semana, como se sabe, hay que completar las la semanas. Son tres, ¿no? Sección 1, sección 2 y 3. Eh, los que, ya, bueno, la mayoría ya completamos la sección 2 la semana pasada. Si alguien se ha trazado, ¿verdad? O por ese día. Y recuerden que mañana debe estar completo, ¿verdad? La sección 3. Y el mito. Es que hay que trabajar es para durante el posiblemente si tenemos el espacio no, mañana verdad trabajemos el cuando tengamos el espacio claro pasamos ocupados pero a completar verdad tenemos hasta la medianoche el jueves para mañana de, para completar la, la, la sesión 3 y el mitra eso es lo que para, estamos haciendo eh, durante esa semana si es que recuerden que mañana sería ¿verdad? El, el último día por decirlo así la semana 2 Y de ahí, ¿verdad? Ustedes descansan el viernes, fin de semana, y hasta el lunes por la tercera semana. Ya nos restarían, ¿verdad? Dos, dos semanas ya para el curso. Ahora bien, eh, la sección 3, ¿verdad? La sección 3, mañana, y el mitro, lo voy a explicar ahorita, antes que se me olvide. El mitro, ¿verdad? Siempre se explica un, un día antes, o los exámenes se explican un día antes. Pero a ese el examen final, ¿verdad? Que se explica con dos, dos días de la discusión, porque se hace antes, no el último día. Ahora bien, el Nitro contiene seis secciones. Hay que ser cuidadosos, así como hemos desarrollado las, las secciones anteriores, así vamos, ¿verdad? Es lo mismo. Lo único que, ¿verdad? Es, se, se hace una combinación, ¿verdad? De las, de las secciones anteriores. Es un examen de mitad de, de, de módulo. Vamos por llegar a la mitad del módulo, mañana específicamente, que hay que hacer este examen. El meter tiene seis partes. La primera es el listening. La segunda es el the conversation. El C es el scum of the sentences. D is select the correct words. E is select questions to complete the conversations. And F is complete the conversations. Vamos a ir, eh, ¿verdad? En cada parte leyendo. Y en las instrucciones, por tanto, no se nos olvide, a veces se nos olvida y esa es la clave. Ahí está lo que debemos de hacer: que hay que leer mis instrucciones y luego, ¿verdad?, con base en lo que se nos pide, simplemente escuchar el audio, ¿verdad?, desde la, la, primera, la primera parte, escuchar el audio y luego responder, ¿verdad?, completar las oraciones. Eh, next, be complete the conversation. Vamos a leer las instrucciones nuevamente. Vamos a las conversaciones. Eso es el presente simple de los verbos. Selecciona la opción que contenga las palabras, la palabra o las palabras para completar la pregunta y respuesta. Hay que ver el ejemplo. Para siempre se le da un ejemplo. Y con base en eso, también poder completar. Acá hay secciones múltiples. Eso lo van a seleccionar. Luego le damos. Pero sí. Vamos con los sentences. Right. Vamos a descifrar las oraciones, según las palabras que se nos comparten, y vamos a ir ordenando para completar esa oración. Que son tres. 
veamos las palabras, pero están en desorden, hay que ordenarlas y construir esa palabra. Bueno, esa oración no hecho. Eh, letter D, select the correct words. So you have to select the correct word for each sentence. Vamos a seleccionar la palabra por cada oración. Vamos a leer y con base en eso vamos a leer. Ahora es poder verlo. Tres, bueno, tres más. Letter E, select the questions to complete the conversations. Vamos a seleccionar las preguntas, solamente, ¿verdad? Veamos la respuesta, esa es la clave. Veamos las respuestas, si las respuestas y nos ayuda, ¿verdad? A obtener la pregunta. Entonces, ahí es opción múltiple siempre. Y ¿verdad? le damos a enviar. Solamente la última sección, la última parte sería la, la F, complete the conversations again. Vamos a completar cada conversación. No se nos muestre. Sí, son tres conversaciones. Corta, ¿verdad? Corta. Entonces hay que completar las conversaciones. Selecciono el, el verbo ser usar. Be. Be. Eh, en cada caso. Es que con base en eso es como vamos a ir completando. ¿verdad? El verb be. O you use right eh, the other verb, right? which is have. have. Esa sería la última parte. Que ahí es donde completamos el meeting. Completamos la sección 3 y el meeting. Estamos, hola, en, ese, en ese aspecto estamos bien. Sí, completamos todo eso para mañana. ¿Preguntas? Eh, for the ones that lista. already join us, yes, I did, I did. Let me... You know, more your names. I can see her son, Sandra, Karen, sí. good evening. Presente. Thank you. Present. Thank good you. Good evening. Sandra, right? Yeah. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más es ahorita? Sandra, eh, her son, and Karen, right? Very good. Ok, solamente estoy, ¿verdad?, comentando que, bueno, ya mañana tiene que estar completo en la sección 3, no se les olvide, y el meter. Creo que estoy explicando el meter, como ustedes, ¿verdad?, pudieron observar y escuchar. Así es que hay que completar el meter, ¿verdad?, las seis secciones, las seis partes, y ahí tenemos completo hasta la sección 3 y el meter, ¿verdad? incluido, que eso sería para mañana. Entonces, si hay... Preguntas, comentarios, dudas. ¿Todo claro? Very nice. Claro. Sí, claro. Thank you. Sí, todo bien. Ok. All right, let's go with the topic. Topic for today is job vocabulary and activities. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd. This is a class on 7. Let me introduce some vocabulary about jobs first. Let's go with jobs. So we have this picture right in on this slide, right? We need to identify jobs. As you notice, and right, I'm gonna use this. As you notice, we have different different people. And of course, they have different jobs. Okay. Here we have number one, number two, number three, right? One, two, three. Next a scenario, four, five. X, six, seven, right? eight, nine, ten. What are the jobs? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, right? We have sixteen jobs. 16 jobs. Please look at the pictures, right? Look at the people too, right? We're going to identify those jobs. Do we have the jobs? They are in disorder. We need to look for the correct matches. Listen first. Listen first. I'm going to mention the whole vocabulary, right? Listen first. Cashier. Cashier. Cook. 
for chat. Eleven for chat. Listen, listen first, listen first. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Escuchamos primero, escuchamos primero. Fifteen. Eleven. Escuchamos primero. Escuchamos primero. Espera un poco hablar, escuchamos. Cashier. Cashier. Book or chat. Book or chat. Doctor. Doctor. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Judge. Judge. Lawyer. Lawyer. Musician. Musician. Norse. Norse. Pilot. Pilot. Police officer. Police officer. Resectionist, resectionist, salesperson, salesperson, security guard, security guard, singer, singer, waiter, listen, waiter, and waitress, waiter. Waitress, okay? Those are jobs. Those are jobs. Okay? Now we're going to start mashing. Now, oh, yes. Now, oh, yes. We're going to start mashing. We're going to go in this order. Listen, we're going to go in this order. One, number two, three, four, five, until 16, right? Number one, as you can see, is letter K. Letter K. So, number one is. Resectionist, right? Sectionist. But one is resectionist. Number two. Number two. Doctor. 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 Yes. Doctor. Yeah. Adelie, I think you have a question. Oh, no. Uh, participando nada más. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Doctor, number two, right? Number three. Nurse. 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 Yeah. Excellent. So those are the first three, right? Listen and repeat. Resectionist. Receptionist. 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 Doctor. 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 Nurse. 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 Okay. Nurse. 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 Number four. Pilot. 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 Pil
Hook or chaff? Hook or chaff? Hook or chaff? Number 12. Waiter. Waiter. Yeah. Waiter. 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 Waiter is for men, right? Listen, listen. Listen. Waiter is for men. Yes. Waiter. Yes. Waiter. And waitress, yes, yeah, I said it's number 13, that is for women. For women. Okay. women. Waitress. Waiters. 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 Yeah. One more time. Cook and or chat. Cook or chat. Or chat. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. 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 Yeah. Waitress. Number 14. Is, uh, Sales person. 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 Listen to me. Sales person. 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 15. Cashier. 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 Listen. Cashier. 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 Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Yes. Security guard. Exactly. So these are the jobs. Right? Jobs, right? Different jobs. Singer, cashier, chef, doctor, salesperson, receptionist, judge, lawyer, waitress, etc. Okay. Questions about the jobs? Yeah. Um, me teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uh, what is the difference between a cashier and a receptionist? Ah, okay. A receptionist is in charge of, you know, uh, having calls, uh, maybe fi they file some documents, uh, they take some notes, right? They talk to people, right? Now, for example, in a hospital, right? In a hospital, we have receptionists. So they take notes, you know, they take uh, orders or, or no, they take some appointments, etc. And a cashier is different. For example, if you go to the supermarket, right, you, you go to Super Select, right? You, you buy products and then you go to the, you know, to this area, right? We have the cashier. So the cashier is handled, you know, this person is handled, handling, sorry, money. So they receive the money because you're buying products, right? That is a cashier. Uh, my activity is uh, concerts. No concerts. Con concerts. Con es conserje. ¿Cómo se dice? Oh, janitor. Huh? Janitor. 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 Yeah. That is the job. Janitor. Uh, Marco, that, does it make sense? Difference between sectionist and cashier? Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, you cashier is como cajera. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, look at the picture, right? This is a, yeah, a supermarket or not exactly. We can see, right, like drinks. Is it clothes? I'll accept that it's a supermarket, right? Or something like that. Yeah, because in Super Selector, right? People, I mean, they sell clothes, right? Clothes. Yeah, so supermarket. It's but, boutique. Or a boutique, right? A boutique, yeah. Oh, so this is, dress store. Yeah, exactly. So this is the cashier, right? The cashier it, it receives the money, right? They handle money. Right, you pay. They receive the money and they give the changes, right? They give they give you changes, right? That's even dinero y nos dan cambio, that's necessary. Talking about money. 
Okay. Dice Jobs. Somebody else? Questions? ¿Alguien más? Preguntas? Questions? Everything okay? ¿Todo bien en este momento? Sí, todo bien. Todo bien. Yes, okay. Now, how many my jobs we have workplaces? Workplaces or places, see the same. But specifically, you know, workplaces. Workplaces. Okay, for example, We have in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Of course, we have, we have more rights. We can say in a restaurant, in a restaurant. We can say in a um, Supreme Court, maybe. Supreme Court. We can say in uh, what? See? In hotel? In a hotel, yeah, in a hotel. Let me see. In the airport, in the airport, etc. Okay, so these are all places. And we can say, right, okay, a doctor works in a hospital. Right, so this is the place, this is the workplace for doctors. A doctor works in a hospital, right? A doctor works, sorry, in a hospital, okay? But you can say a cashier, a cashier works in a store. In a store. It can be right if you want in a supermarket. In a supermarket. Say, a judge, a judge works in a Supreme Court. Okay. So we're mentioning places, right? There were places, were places. Okay. For example, what does a chef work? What does a chef work? A chef works? Where? In a restaurant. Very good. Yeah. Let me, let me re-ask the question. Sorry, I got a mistake. Where does a chef work? Right, that is a question. A chef or a cook works in a restaurant, yeah. In a restaurant. Or we can say in a hotel, right? They were in hotel soup. And this is the place. Chef works in a restaurant or a hotel. Okay. What about a pilot? Where does a pilot work? Pilot works? The airport. In the airport. In the airport, yeah. Airport. Very good. In the airport. Excellent. So those are the workplaces. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, in a restaurant, in the airport, etc. You can say a lawyer, lawyer works in an office. Or a Supreme Court. Exactly, or a Supreme Court. Yes. Okay. These are the workplaces, and now we associate the jobs with the workplace. Tenemos esa asociación. Trabajo con el guardo. Guardo de trabajo. En cambio, la recepcionista, teacher, trabaja en un hospital, en una oficina, en un hotel. O sea, wow, en muchos. Yeah. Exactly. Igual que el security war. Exactly. exactly. Our reception is birds in an office, in a hospital. In a hospital. 
or hotel, just, hotel, right? As I say, hotel, etc. Very good. So as you can see, where they they have different workplaces, right? Receptionists have different workplaces. Different lugar de trabajo, verdad? Para receptionistas, exactly. Okay. Questions over here. Preguntas acá. Not a question. No. Okay, we have jobs, workplaces, and we're missing one thing, activities. Activities. Okay, so we have some activities, right? Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Seats, all day, right? Seats, all day. Talks, people, right? Talks to people. Works, hard. Works, hard. Stands, all day. Stands, all day. Handles, money. Handles, money. Works, at night. Works, night. Rides, tickets. Rides, tickets. One more time. Listen and repeat. Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Seats all day. 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 all day. all day. Seats all day. Seats all day. Talks to people. 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 Yes. Where's hard? Where's hard? Work hard. Work yeah. Hard. Stands, work hard. Yeah. Stands all day. Stands all day. Stands all day. Handles money. Handles money. Handles money. Works at night. Works at night. Writes tickets. Right. 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 Yes. yes, those are activities right that these jobs or these people develop, right? For example, now let's go with jobs. These were workplaces, right? Workplaces. Now let's go with jobs. Continue with jobs. Okay, uh, for example, we have job activities. And I can say, right, a doctor, a doctor works hard, right? This is the activity now. Activity. Okay. A doctor works hard. I can say, right, a security guard okay, stands all day, right? Stands all day. This is the activity. A security guard stands all day. You know that they don't sit down, right? They don't sit down. So they maintain, right? Standing. Standing, right? So a security guard stands all day. In my case, it's the opposite, right? I mean, with this modality, right? So I can say, right, a, a teacher, in my case, right, a teacher, sits down right all day because it's different right i mean i'm having this modality which is spiritual so now uh, uh, <clears throat> a receptionist i sit down all day exactly a receptionist uh, sits down all day that's right so this is the activity activity another example can be a pilot Pilot wears a uniform. Right, you know that they have a cap, right? They use uh, a suit, a shirt, a tie, and this is a, a pilot. So we can see that the pilot, you know, wears a uniform. If, for example, we can say a salesperson talks. People, right? 
because they want to sell products, right, etc. Salesperson talks to cause to people. Okay, so these are activities. Activities that you know these the specific people, right, or jobs. If you have that job, right, you develop activity. Uh, teacher, um, cashier handles money. Yeah, exactly. A cashier, cashier, cashier. A cashier handles money. Yeah. A cashier handles money. Okay. So these are the activities. They have activities. Okay. Any questions? No questions. No. Activities, workplaces, and the just right jobs. Jobs, workplaces, and activities. Okay. This is the way you express, right? That. Let me give you the examples. Right? We have a doctor. You say, right? Okay, a doctor works in a hospital, but it's a workplace. And then if you if you want to mention the activity or the possible activities that a doctor does, you can say a doctor works on. You know, we can have different possibilities, right? We can say a doctor, doctor works at night. Right? It depends. It depends. A doctor works at night. Okay. Again, a doctor works in a hospital. A doctor works on place activity, place activity, place activity. X, again, a cashier, right? We can say a cashier works in a store. A cashier works in a store. The workplace, right, the place. In the activity, we can say a cashier works, sorry, a cashier handles money. A cashier handles money. That is the activity. Activity that a cashier does. Okay? Place activity, place activity. This is the way we express that part in the jobs. Any questions? Does it make sense? Okay, let's do this. Everything okay? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Preguntas y los demás. Los escucho algunos. ¿En quién es, Stephanie? Aparte de estas actividades, teacher, no hay otras. Yeah, yeah, we have more. For example, we can say... Um, Let's see. Okay, for example, we can say, right, uh, take takes calls, right? Again, about receptionist. Uh, for example, a musician or, or a singer, we can say, right, uh, plays music, for example. There's a musician, right? If it is a singer, we can say, right, uh, scenes uh, in concerts, for example, right? If it is a chef, we can say, right, makes meals, makes meals. We can say, what, or say, maybe bakes, right, cakes. If it is a waiter or, or a waitress, we can say, right, uh, serves, Food or meals, maybe meals, or you know they take orders, right? Uh, if it is a let me see, a pilot, right? We say uh, flies a plane, planes. Play attendant, we can say right talks to people, or you know they offers. I mean, a, a, a flight attendant offers you know things, right? Food, drinks, etc. Yeah. 
The housekeeping. Housekeeping, which one? The housekeeping, yeah, the housekeeping, but in that case is different, a different job, right? A different job. So the okay. main, right? Okay, the, the housekeeping, housekeeping is work in the hotels. Exactly, so that is a maid, the maid. So this person is in charge of that, right? They, they do housekeeping. A maid, okay. a maid, and that's housekeeping in a hotel, exactly. I mean, los deportes, eh, perdón, teacher, los deportes se pueden tomar como actividades, o sea, como, no sé, soccer, so, soccer player, swimmer. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are jobs, they are jobs. Exactly. It's going on here. Yeah, yeah we can, we can, uh, Cesar, soccer player, basketball player, swimmer. Um, you know, can I say this? Skateboarder. Tennis. Tennis player, exactly. So, for example, okay. uh, how can I say this? Um, if you say a, a, a soccer player, right? You say a soccer player, what? Let's say plays in a, in a team, right? Maybe plays in a team. Right? Or plays, you know, that is redundant, right? That is redundant, but if you say a uh, soccer player plays soccer, right? That can be redundant. But it's okay, it's okay. Podría sonar algo redundante, decir, player plays soccer, right? Sin embargo, lo podemos mencionar. Okay, so here we have more activities, more activities. Drive uh, bus. Exactly, we had drivers, right? A driver, a driver, driver. drives buses, right? Buses, micro buses, etc. Very good. A driver drives buses. I'm sorry? This is a driver man for a chauffeur. No. Yeah, you, you, you say a driver, a driver. Yeah. A driver. A driver, exactly. That is in general. Eso sería como en general. Yes. Very good. Okay, listen, we're going to practice. What I want to do, I need you to look at examples. Sean, I'm going to give you another example. And I need you to write examples using the vocabulary given. In your notebooks, you're going to write five examples. Okay? You have to select five jobs. Five jobs, and you have to do this. Who's this? Who's this? A waitress. A waitress. It's a waitress. It's a waitress. Yeah. She is a, a waitress. waitress. A waitress. So a waitress works in a restaurant, in a hotel, etc. That is a workplace. The activity, it is like a waitress serves serves food, right? That is the activity. Okay. So I need you to do the same. Select five jobs, select five jobs. You can select them from here, right? From this list, select five, only five. And you have to do this, right? You need to do this, the same, right? You need to say the, the place, the workplace, and then the activity about that job, okay? Vamos a seleccionar cinco ahora, yo vamos a hacer lo mismo, okay? So you can select different activities, different places maybe. It depends, all right? That's what you have to do. Your notebooks, five, five examples. Similar to this one or this one, sorry, or this one, okay? I will give you some time. Go ahead. Déjenos la, la imagen de, los, de las profesiones. The jobs, okay. You want to take a screenshot, right? Take a screenshot. Tomamos una foto o una captura. Para dar el ejemplo. Eh, ese, ese ejemplo está en el, en el material que descargamos. Ah, yeah. Exactly. It is there too. If you want to select different jobs, you can do it, right? Different jobs and you can do it. Si deseamos utilizar o seleccionar otro tipo de profesión, 
lo pueden hacer. And if you have some questions, let me know, please. Si hay preguntas, háganlo. Háganme las preguntas. Si no es complete, please let me know. Raise your hands. Teatro, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? I'm sorry? Teatro. Oh, you can say theater. 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 This is the example that you have to follow, right? How many examples? Right. Examples. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, any questions to me now, please? Teacher, how many samples? Five, five samples. Five samples. Yes. Uh, oh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes.
I'm ready, teacher. Ready? Yes. Okay, uh, Jose, help us with your example, please. Uh, first, uh, police job in the city. Police officer job in the city. One. Works. Number two. Works. Yes. Police, yes. Uh, number two, bartender job in the bar. Number three, strip this job in the nightclub. It's good. <laughs> number number four, DJ job in the discotheque. Uh, number five, teacher job in the school with a with a much uh, with a much uh, student. You good? Yes, but just one observation. In the ver. Jose is work, no job. A police officer works in the city. Sorry, or work. A teacher works at school, work right? Is. Okay. Yeah. Work is. Work, yeah, work. Instead of job. Work, job. work is. Yeah, work, works. Ah, it's the verb. Yeah, it's yes, the verb. You don't say it's a police officer. Exactly. You don't say job. Okay, yes. the job. Yeah. Very good. But yeah, good yeah. examples. Good examples. Thank you, Jose. Yeah. Ready, teacher. Elvis? Okay, go ahead. A nurse works at hospital. A nurse takes temperature. Yeah. A barber works in a barber shop. A barber put hair. A teacher works at college. A teacher makes exams. A police works in the police station. A police controls the traffic. A salesperson works in the mall. A salesperson to offer items. Salesperson offers. Salesperson of offers. Yeah. Offers. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. For example, Elvis, we have Kenya. Yeah, Kenya. Yes, a musician play, plays in the church. A musician works every day. A lawyer works in the office. A lawyer talking with the judge. Okay. In Kenya. Thank you. Okay. Good. Somebody else. Teacher, one question. Tell me. Um, job, work, what, uh, what is the difference? Job is a noun. Job is a noun. Job is? A noun. And noun. work. Yes, and work is a verb. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Karen and then Cesar. A dentist works. In a hospital, yeah. a dentist cleans the teeth. Yes, yeah. A secretary, secretary works in the office. A secretary answers the phone. A, a cashier works in the bank. A cashier hands money. Handles. 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 Okay, Karen. Better for me, Karen. A dentist. A dentist. A dentist. Yeah. Answer. 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 Okay. Very good, Karen. Thank you for the example. Cesar. Uh, music can work in a theater. A music can sit down all day. A nurse work in a hospital. A nurse stand all day. A cashier uh, work in a boutique. A cashier handles money all day. A janitor work 
in the shop. Uh, janitor doing cleaning all day, all day. A chef work in a restaurant. A chef cooking all day. Does, does the cleaning. Oh. A janitor does the clean up. Or oh, the cleaning, it's okay. The cleaning. Doing. Oh, yo le puse doing. Yeah. Doing, yeah. Doing. Repeater for me, a successor musician. Musician. Correct. Musician, huh? Eh? Musician. musician, yes. Musician, okay. Another word, it stands. It stands all day. It stands all day. Do. It stands all day. All day, yes. Thank you. Very good, yeah. Thank you for the examples. Appreciate. All right. Uh, let's continue with Helson and Sandra. Okay. Uh, engineering works in a building. A fireman works in a fire station. A coach works in a gym. A cashier works in a bank. A architect works in a studio. Well done. Thank you, Harrison, for the examples. You were using new jobs, right? Architect, engineer, a firefighter, a fireman. Excellent. Thank you. Sandra. A salesperson works in a boutique. A salesperson works hard. As a nurse works in a clinic. A nurse talks to people. A singer works in a concert. A singer plays music. A, wait a waiter works in a restaurant. A waiter serves different foods. A flight attendant works in the airport and a flight attendant works hard. Repeat for me, Sandra. Salesperson. 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 Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, I'm going to listen to Anna Stephanie. Anna Stephanie, you sent examples in the chat, right? Can you help us with examples? Anna Stephanie? Okay, um, a teacher works at the school or university. A doctor works in the hospital. A secretary works in the reception. Okay. A doctor works. A doctor works. A secretary works. Works. Yeah, works. Works. I left to the essay. Works. Oh, yeah. yeah. And repeat it for me again, Anna Stephanie. As you will say, we say a school. A school. A school. A school. Yeah. A school or at the university, right? At the university is good. At the university. A Very school good. or university. University, exactly. Thank you. Lisbeth, please help us. A nurse works in a clinical medic. A nurse cures the patients. A mechanic works mechanic. in mecha, a mechanic works in a mechanical workshop. Me apareció, pero no sé si es así o cómo you, pronunciarlo. You can así say. Let, let me help you. You can say uh, the workplace for mechanics. Or let me let me give you some uh, ideas. You say a garage, a garage, mm. or it can be a, a, a car, a car shop repair. Oh, a car repair shop, sorry, by the way. Both are correct, a garage or a car repair shop. Uh, okay, entonces, a mechanic works in a garage, yeah. a mechanic fix the cars, a secretary works in the office. A secretary secretary wears a uniform. A teacher works in the university. 
A teacher teaches the lessons. A flight attendant works in the airport. A flight attendant attends to the, the passengers. Yes. Yeah. The better for me is bad. A mechanic fixes a me the car. A mechanic fixes the cars. Yes. A teacher. A teacher. Teaches. The lesson. A teacher teaches the lesson. A teacher teaches the lesson. Yeah. Mm, sí, sí, me faltó. Yes, that is right. Pretty good. Only that. Let's uh, thank you so much. Okay, listen, guys. Because of the time, we're going to start right here, right? If you haven't mentioned or you haven't expressed your ideas, I will ask you to share, please, your ideas through the WhatsApp group, please. Los que nos hacen falta, ¿verdad? Por el tiempo, no vamos a sacar hasta acá. Pero quisiera que pudieran compartir sus ideas también. Y si lo pueden hacer todo para darles para dar más ideas eh, a sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Las ideas que ustedes compartieron, eh, las pueden observar y pueden comparar. Pueden enviar todas sus respuestas en el chat, ¿verdad? Que ¿Okay? eh, Excelente. ¿Do you have any questions about the topic? ¿Preguntas? No questions. No, no questions. Yeah. Uh, I have one. Okay. Sorry. ¿Quién habló primero? <laughs> que sigue. Yo tengo una duda, Ticho. Ya, yeah, sabes. Sobre... Tenemos que decir un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Tenemos que decir, este, un ejemplo, Servi. Bueno, tenemos que decir, eh, chef, eh, works in the restaurant. Place. Después tenemos que decir a, a chef uh, cooking, cooking food. Y al final, activities o antes. Tenemos que decir lugar y actividad. Yes, yes. Pero, no, pero me refiero a que tenemos que decir, para un ejemplo, el cocinero trabaja en un restaurante. Lugar, lugar, el cocinero trabaja en un restaurante. Actividad, eh, cocina. Eh, O sea, prepara comida, un ejemplo. Ya. Yeah. Yeah, o, de solo, o de un solo, sin decir lugar y actividad. La palabra mm. lugar, y lugar, y lugar y la palabra actividad. For yeah, example, hey. yeah, activity, activity, cooking food. Yes. Place in the restaurant. Creo que, creo que el, el teacher lo puso allí nada más para que nos diéramos cuenta del tipo de, de, de que estábamos hablando, actividad y y el lugar no para no diferenciarlo que mencionarlo ya yeah. yeah. exacto no sí, para tiene que, ah, okay. que mencionar exacto eso fue diferencia exactly so uh, I want I I wanted you to identify that right the differences place and activity yeah. Yeah. entonces por eso hay, incluso también por eso hay paréntesis la, la, la idea para que sea es una es, explicación verdad adicional no porque eso no va, ¿verdad? Activity place. Solo para diferenciar. Pero, yeah, you can, you can say, right? For example, chef. But let's say like this, maybe, in a hospital. Hospital. Can be, right? Can be, but it's not fun, right? So you have to give complete answers. Podría ser así, ¿verdad? Hacemos esa asociación, okay, chef. So, I don't know why I say hospital, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> in a restaurant, right? In a restaurant. So, we can work in the hospital too. Yeah, right. I was thinking of that. There are cooks in the hospital. There are cooks in the hospital too. True, true. So, we can do that, right? But it's better to give answers complete. So, chef works in a restaurant. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Somebody Una else? Vez más, teacher, no nos ha mandado las, las oh. <laughs> Sorry, my bad, my bad. Let me just have dinner and I'm going to send it to you, okay? Solo voy a cenar y les envío las clases, okay? Sorry, sorry. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. I'm sorry. I, I think 
I think, let me see, let me check. Creo que les envié solamente. Ay, me revisar bien. Si les envío a las tres, les debo, les debo cuatro, ya se la pueden enviar, ¿eh? Solo sea. Oh my God. Yeah, sorry, me bad, me bad. Ok, lo que sé es que para, para, se va algo ocupado. Entonces, se me había pasado por alto, pero ya se las envío. Sorry. Ok, guys, eh, this is all for today. Thank you so much for your time. We will continue tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow at night. Tomorrow. At night. Night. I'll see you guys. Have a good day. I'm sorry. Have a good evening. Goodbye. Stay Goodbye. safe and Goodbye. pleasant. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Goodb